Hey guys, hey guys, what the fuck? <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to the Iron Man Progress series. I'm not even going to number them anymore because this is all you need to know. This is the first one after the hack. This is the rebuild. The rebuild will occur right here on this channel and it's going to be great. I've got some good clips for you guys coming up. We've been blessed with some pretty good RNG in this episode. So, if you're not up to speed, these are the things that I actually need to get back on the account. I'll pull a little thing up on screen here. So, out of these, I'm not really going to go for Void back very fast at all because it's been nerfed. Uh, Rune Pouch, going to get that back. The Honourable Blessing isn't really much of an issue. I do have an Ancient Blessing. I've got a Placeholder Trident. I didn't even realise that I had one. So, yeah, I already got one of those. And all the rest of the stuff will come in time. The short-term plan is to carry on going for 99 Slayer. As I start this episode, I'm about 800k off the 99. And we'll be able to do Gorillas and Cerberus for Eternals and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is the plan for now. Hope you're all looking forward to the rebuild. Going to smash some Iron Man before Dead Man mode comes out. And I will be playing the tournament and the seasonal of that. And hopefully... My new computer gets here soon so I can start streaming some of the progress. So exciting times ahead and anyway I'm going to get right into the video and I hope you enjoy. Oh blister limbs that's a drop there. Nice one. First drop of coming back and yeah I don't know how rare they are though. Not sure. I don't need them for anything. I've already got heavy blister but hey it might be nice to get a placeholder next time we get hacked. Currently looking for the Zenites. So yeah, hopefully we end up getting one soon. Been slaying, got a Dark Totem, didn't get any drop. Oh, raw anglerfish. I've never actually had an anglerfish on the account because I'm at 0% Hosidious favor, so that's pretty cool. Finally, these farming levels are few and far between these days, especially now I've run out of seeds and Zora's been nerfed. There we go, 96 farming. I think I'm going to farm papayas actually because I do have like 97.5 banked in papayas and then maybe herb runs will push me over the edge to 99 eventually and adding in some other seed drops from bosses along the way. I'm sure we'll be able to get it in the end. This has been a long time coming. Well, after I got hacked, I was just doing agility the whole time and I was like 500k off a level. So this 89 agility has taken quite a while. So yeah, nine, no, not 90, 89 agility. I wish it was 90. One more level to the 90. Probably going to be knocking that out when I'm completely clueless and I just want something mindless to click around of course or got some alks, need some cash, that sort of thing. Yes, yes, Zenite Shard. Oh, that's actually sick. Oh, thank fuck for that that we didn't get so dry on that one. The first one there, still got two more to go after this but I think this one is crucial because it means I can make the Necklace of Anguish which is such a good range amulet with the range strength bonus as well. I'll check the Slayhelm. I've only got 134 left, so killed about 100 of these. I'm actually using the new bracelets to extend the tasks. So these are going to be some very long gorilla tasks, but I'm so happy to get that one out of the way. I'm going to see if I've got an Onyx now. I don't know if I do. Yes, I've got an Onyx as well. That is perfect. I'm so pleased with that. Only took about 100 kills to get that. Here we go, fusing it in the fire, the Zenite with the Onyx to make the Uncut Zenai. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's going to be so good actually having the amulet again and not having to use the Peasant Fury. You can use my Torture and Anguish for killing gorillas. And yeah, I'm so pleased with that one. I'm going to go and make it right now. I'm choosing the necklace because I think that has the most all round use for like raids and stuff like that. Maybe the bracelet would be better. Definitely not the ring though because that's just for Zora and can't see myself doing that much Zora. And here's one Zenite necklace being made. Yeah, I can't see myself doing that much Zora in the near future. But, I mean, we'll have to see. But it's been nerfed, so it's not as important anymore. Just going to go back there for my belay pipe. So, yeah. Come on. Uh, I don't know what runes this is going to use. Let's just bring all of them out. And, yeah. We can spellbook swap and enchant the Zenite jewellery. And the necklace of anguish has been made. First item of the rebuild back on it so happy if we knock out another one for the bracelet soon that will be unbelievable great start to rebuilding literally just picked up another light frame wasn't recording but yeah that's like my third or fourth one 
Getting a lot of these, I don't know how rare they actually are, but I think our Gorilla KC is around 1,000 right now, so... And I just killed a Superior, and I've got a Dust Vassal Staff, which is a unique... I don't actually have one yet. That's going to be really useful for just making... It is Air and Earth Runes, so... So it's definitely a lot more useful than some of them, like the Mist Staff and stuff. But yeah, I've had quite a lot of Staffs off these Superiors, and no heart yet. I'm not going to risk it, I'm just going to trade this in. Let's go, let's get all the points. 750k, and that should be enough for the rune pouch back. So important, that's the second item on the rebuild. Perfect, knocking them out today, this is the same day. Got both the anguish and the rune pouch back, which is very nice indeed. I would, I would have gone for a tier 10, but tier 5, fuck it, not going to risk that on the massive AGS specs that can occur. Oh, we got a clue scroll. Oh, it's elite as well. Nice. I'm not sure if I have actually got a master in the bank right now. Or even an elite at Watson. Hopefully not. I can't, oh, I can't remember the situation. It's been so long since I played. So Watson had no clues, so I was able to go and store my other elite with Watson. And I got another elite here. So I've got a master at the moment. I think it's the one that you need an ancient staff for. So I'm going to be going to Chaos Fanatic at some point, I think, to get that back. And yeah, we shall see, because I've lost the other ones from PKing and stuff. Oh, wow. A crystal. Primordial crystal. Ah, that is that is good. I've already got primordials, though. We, we're here for the Eternals, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm happy, I guess. Bank value. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird feeling. I don't know. Everyone's probably shouting at me right now, like, what are you doing? Like, that's so expensive. But yeah, I guess it's decent to have a placeholder. Here we are, the Primordial Crystal. Going to make them into the Primordial Boots. And I've actually been like thinking about this after I've finished my trip. It's actually quite a good thing. I mean, just in case I do get hacked again, I've got a placeholder in the bank. Thinking about those things now that it's actually happened. And there is the Primordial Boots. That was some runecrafting XP. Maybe that is some next level 200k an hour runecrafting method. If you could get enough boots and crystals. But let's have a look in the bank, I'll show you. Don't have any internal boots or crystals lying around, and I do have two Pegasian crystals, but I do not have any ranger boots. Also, I am looking for the smoldering stones, because I've never had that one before from Cerberus. So, still need that to go, so at least it is not just the eternal crystal we're looking for. Oh shit, another one! Another primordial crystal, that must be like 10 or 12 kills later? I can't exactly remember, but they're really close succession. I guess I've got three now. I can get hacked twice. <laughs> and two, oh, they can take two primordial boots off me. So yeah, these tasks are so long with these bracelets that I was just hoping that was an eternal. I just want this over. And do I have any more D boots? Yeah, I do. One, the last pair. Let's release that. The last pair. Don't deal in D boots anymore. I'm a primordial boot salesman, so got three pairs now. That is pretty cool. They look pretty nice in the inventory. Let's just give that a cheeky price check. Look at that. Oh, the 20 mil each now. I thought they were like 30 mil, but hey, still pretty nice. Oh my god, what the hell, puppy? Oh, that's so good. Well, oh, we're so lucky. 665. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Get my drop. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. That is so cool. Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. That's really weird. Okay, what the hell? Right, okay. That goes into the pen. But yeah. Oh, that's, that's so good. Hell, puppy. 665 that's probably like one in 5k or something ridiculous and i just got incredibly lucky right there but i don't know that's so cool that's so cool one more pet one more pet that is fantastic to get 
Oh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, look at me. I don't even have my fucking DH body on because it ran out of charge halfway through the trip. Let's go and insure this bad boy. Got my money here. It looks so cool. Let's give him a chat. More like a short uh, toilet humor shit. <laughs> Whatever. All this random stuff from Jagex. I wonder who thinks of these things. Probably Ash or somebody. But yeah, look at all those pets. Already got four, and now this is going to be the fifth. Already got Thermi, Kraken, um, Rip 500k. And, uh, Thermi, Kraken, Hell Puppy now. So that's all, is that all the Slayer ones? That's all the Slayer ones, I think. And I've also got Krill and the Beaver. So looking pretty nice. I haven't really gone for any pet hunts specifically. But yeah, Hell Puppy achieved. So there we go, I'm back, and the rebuild is on. We're going for it. Got the Zenite necklace back again, the necklace of anguish. And yeah, gradually working towards 99 Slayer through doing some sort of PVM activities. I need Archer's Ring, necklace of anguish. No, no. I need Archer's Ring, Tormented Bracelet, and Eternals, and probably Ring of Suffering if I've got time for that. On the way to 99. If that happens, it will be a dream, and it will be absolutely perfect. And then we can go to Barrows and Zora to get the Ariums, Blowpipe, that sort of thing. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hope you had a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>